Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So you guys, today's grocery haul day. The kids and I shopped at Food Lion. I could not determine where I wanted to shop today. I didn't see the best sales at Harris Teeter when I checked the ad. I didn't see the best sales at Food Lion when I checked the ad. And we didn't really need a ton of stuff, but I picked up some things for the pantry. I picked up some things just for the kids and I to have around the house, picked up a thing of drinks for a friend of mine. Um, and we just drew in some odds and end things that will help us, of course, being on summer vacation. So I did get a child support today, actually got a double child support. So I did go over my budget a little bit, but it's gonna absorb itself in the child support and we're gonna live our best life. I did pay some of the bills and got all the things, but I just rounded out that extra with child support. So this starts our first grocery haul of the summer season with my $75 budget. Clearly not enough. So I took $25 out of the child support to have extra and we ended up going over still, but I did have some extra money in the first child support payment. So I took the money out of that. So what you're looking at here from Food Lion today cost us $146.85. So let me share with you what we got. Um, not pictured is one big thing of water that's going into the pan, uh, into the sock. We are using still our five gallon waters in our um, little water dispenser that we got from Amazon for our daily use. And then we're still stocking the pantry with waters. They did have drinks, three for 12. Now this was not for us to drink, but it's actually for a, a Facebook reel that I'm trying to film. And um, I just picked up, uh, this is a, a Pepsi Zero Wild Cherry. A friend of mine loves this. She can hardly find it anywhere. So when I saw they had two of them, I picked up one for her. I picked up one for the reel or the TikTok. And then they just had three for 12, so I picked up those. Normally I would not have bought those, but that's for a, a, Instagram, a Facebook reel and Instagram reel that I, I'm doing. Um, this was $4 and some change. The uh, flavor packets, the kids like this. Oven's ready. The kids like this for their water. I picked up two of the Le Bleu Ultra Pure Waters. This is 50.7 ounces. I'm going to do my best to try to do two of these per day. Right now I'm doing 64 ounces, but I think I'm going to try to up it to 100 ounces. It may even go over 100, but not much. But I'm going to try to do these two per day to um, help just stay hydrated. I'm walking and I'm working out twice a day. My body is in so much pain. But at least I can stay fully hydrated. And these were $1.29 each. I picked up some of this um, almond milk. This is the Nature's Promise. The kids like this from Food Line if we have to buy it from anywhere other than Walmart. And I'm not sure how much the price was. I want to pick two of those up. I picked up this Matthew Fox Pinot Grigio. This is um, a white wine. I do not drink any wine or any alcoholic beverages. That's personal preference. But I do like to cook with this when I make a risotto. And I actually made one on my Facebook Reels. So if you haven't seen that recipe, head over there and see it. But I used the whole bottle and I was out and I wanted to make that recipe again. That was two for eight or four dollars each. It, I think it's a little bit more expensive at Aldi because I had thought about going to Aldi, but I just decided to stay at Food Lion. Food Lion is closer to home. And like I said today, I'm just not feeling the best. My body is in pain. We picked up some of this uh, Sara Lee, the delightful bread, the uh, 45 calorie per slice in the white. That was a little bit less grams of carb than the whole wheat. So I picked up that it was $4 and some change. Thick sliced food line bacon was a little over $4. They do have this three for 10 or the low sodium, uh, low salt bacon at Harris Teeter three for 10, but I was already at Food Lion. And so I just picked it up. They, uh, Jackson asked for this, um, this is chili paste. He is, has found a recipe he wants to make. That was $2.79, I believe. And then Alana and I saw this Skinny Girl. This is Skinny Girl uh, Raspberry Bellini. And then there was another one. This is Blueberry Mule. They were $2.99, no sugar added uh, jams. 
I picked up two of these late July uh, sea salt and lime chips. They were $4.19, buy one, get one free. So not much more than $1.73 over at Walmart. So I picked those up. And then the food line tortilla chips were $1.69. Picked up this Heritage uh, Queso Blanco dip, $3.89. And then two of the diced green chilies for $1.49. They would have definitely been a little bit cheaper somewhere else but I needed those for another Facebook Reel recipe that I'm gonna do as well. Here's a big purchase. Uh, this was the Food Line Extra Virgin Olive Oil. I do like a robust olive oil. This is 51 fluid ounces and we paid $11.99. They did have, the, I think the Bertoli brand, the 60, 60, 60 some ounces was $19.99. And we actually have not had um, olive oil in a couple weeks, so I picked that up. We're gonna dispense that into smaller containers so we don't get um tempted to use a lot they had these um uh, coddle farms blueberries two for four bananas were 39 cents a pound i picked up some of these uh fresh green beans they look the best i've seen in a long time they were dollar 99 a pound i got a uh, 1.64 ounce up uh, pound 1.64 pounds uh, cabbage was 99 cents a pound i picked up two cabbage i was so hurt last week when i had to throw my cabbage away because i didn't have a way to refrigerate it after i cooked it and so i have to re um i have to cook that again uh green grapes were $1.49 a pound these are your crisp pink lady apples they were $4.49 uh this sweet and spicy sweet baby rays no sugar added was $3.18 but they did have a dollar off coupon Uncle Ben's whole grain rice was $4.29 for two pounds. I picked that up. For the pantry, we got two of these Food Line Classic Alfredo uh, pasta sauces, $1.68 each. And then we picked up these cookies. Now, Food Line had cookies on sale, buy one, get one free, but you only got 12 of them. And so I figured we could make our own. You can get a few more, probably the same size. They were two for five. So we got one chocolate chip and one oatmeal raisin. Well, oatmeal, we're, we're going to add raisins. This country crock plant butter, the sea salt, that was on a close out for $3.39. I picked up two of those. The American sharp cheddar cheese, this is the sliced cheese we like the best, was two for $4. I picked that up. And then they had some sharp cheddar cheese chunks or a uh, snack size, two for four. And sometimes I'm hungry during the day, so I figured if I have a piece of cheese that might curb my hunger. I picked up some grated Parmesan cheese to go with my risotto that I didn't have last week. Uh, that was $2 and some change. Then we picked up some spreadable cream cheese. I'm actually going to add in some ranch. I'm going to add some ranch in, into this. I'm going to stir it together and I'm going to use this on some cucumbers. Um, I picked up this whipped butter. This was $2.99. And then I picked up this Nature's Promise Organic Sour Cream. It was $1.98. Uh, so everything you see here cost $146.85. So clearly my $75 budget is not adequate for today's economy, today's inflation prices. Um, I did get some pretty pricey items, but though that was, you know, the cheapest of the things. So next year we'll have to readjust our budget some type of way. Um, and again, very thankful that the extra child support came in. So I think I took out of child support $75. I had $75. I took out 75 and that equaled up to 150. Now next week, I won't have that luxury because I got an extra payment. This Well, I guess I could take it out tomorrow just to have an extra $25 in next week's budget and definitely to stay within the budget that we have allotted ourselves. But anywho, you guys, there it is. Our grocery haul for the week. Not real sure what we're doing as far as meals because this will have to be incorporated into the things that we have in the house. And so we will do that um, very shortly here, figuring out our meal plan. But there it is, you guys, our weekly grocery haul. We shop food line this week and we think we did okay. If you like the video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already hit that little bell, that way you never miss an upload from us. We do appreciate all that you do to help support our channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.